CPM, electronic fast music, modern day. It's more about raves, or it came from that. It's a club scene. It's it's people having a party, dancing, DJs playing extended versions and, and, and mixing records together. And it's it's not really conducive to pop radio or, or terrestrial radio, which is basically worked around a three minute song or less, or more or less. Um, the way that a little bit, and I know some people disagree with this as a process, but that what's happening, or the way that EDM is going from what we call the underground, from the club world, from a world that a lot of people don't get to go to because they're not young or they're not into it. It's not their culture. But <coughs> artists being tuned into different things start to mix some of the music in. So I think what you see, or what you will see more of, if it's going to go that way, is the ushers and the Bruno Mars and the different people like that. And you also have David Guetta, who was, is a DJ, who begins to make records by finding a singer and finding an artist and finding musicians and putting them together and saying, I'm going to make a three minute version of what we do all night long. And then you may have an usher or a Bruno Mars or some current other artist reach in and say, I'm going to take in effect, I'm going to make a three-minute commercial, I'll call it my next record, of what EDM is all about, but I'm going to sing a hook in it, and I'm going to make it a pop record. Um, and for better or for worse, that will pull EDM more into the mainstream. And a little bit that's what I see now, is that you know some of the artists are getting in touch with the DJs, and in effect saying, let's work together on something, and see if we can translate what you do that's not really on the radio to what's on the 